Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Hello, this is Skillet Sauce, and that's Ken right there. And this is Insanity Check. Again, you can follow us on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash Insanity Check, or you can follow us on Twitter, uh, at Insanity Check 12. That's Insanity Check 1. Oh, and also, <laughs> there'll be Insanity Check Radio on YouTube. So Forthcoming. We'll, probably next week. Well, actually, in a couple of days. Yeah. Check by the weekend. Insanity Check Radio on word. YouTube. That is the channel. Um, we were just talking about um, the man, the pigs, the oppressors. Um, we're going to completely switch channels now to a man who is the a size pig. of... A There you go. A, 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 a pig. Yeah. Uh, he's the size of about four men. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, literally. Very recently. And this is just one of several stories that comes across uh, the table. But um, a 600-pound man was... He had to be cut from his house mm. uh, because he needed medical attention. And couldn't get him out. Couldn't fit through the door right. as usual. Um, and so they got someone called the, the oh the neighbors couldn't didn't hear from him for a while. Mm -hmm. So then they I guess they figured out that he was you know in some duress. So they called uh, the fire department. Mm -hmm. uh, the fire department came, <laughs> and it was too hazardous. For the fire department. Well, well, let's just let's, before we even get yeah, yeah. to that. Part, before we even get to that part, people know me as being a person that's uh, semi health conscious or what have you, because uh, I believe health is everything. And when I see a person that's morbidly obese, and you you try, and this is one of the things that I swear I've prayed about this. I've done everything to try and better myself because I'm totally biased. I'm totally politically incorrect. I'm totally biased when it comes to this this particular situation because if it's a glandular situation or whatever medical thing that causes you to be a big balloon person, that's that's truly sad. That's a medical term, yeah. folks. A big balloon person. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but when you sit around and eat yourself into a condition and you see that you're gaining more and more weight, I have a problem with that. So the fact that they had to expel, expend so many resources to get this individual, they had to chainsaw, electric chainsaw this bastard out of his house. They had to do all of this kind of stuff. And then, okay, I, could, I would have just used a wrecking ball. Or more, more than that, I would have probably did a controlled demolition and destroyed the whole place with the fat bastard in there. But of course they did not do that. So you have to wonder, firefighters, they have to run into <laughs> burning buildings where all sorts of toxic fumes, flames, everything, and they are not going to give them gear that is not suited to the task. So when they had to stop the firefighters from breaching this stinking fest, pus infested domicile of this pig man, they had to bring the people in the hazmat suits. And these guys probably was walking in slow motion like in a Michael Bay movie to go into this place <laughs> to get these guys out. And they had to load him on a flatbed truck, which was augmented. I mean, they beefed up the suspension. I mean, the thing was completely augmented to have this fat pus man on the back of this fat bed, this flat truck. <laughs> It was like, a, to me, all I could think of in my mind was like Gulliver's Travels when he tied down Gulliver, so all of the normal sized human <laughs> beings standing around is, this is the problem with this. And this is where I'm gonna go off a little bit to the left. Oh, now he's going off a little yeah, bit to the left. At this point <laughs> exactly. in time, this is what he's going off a little bit to the left. Now, I, I've already said, I would have blown up the place with the bastard in there, but you can't do that. Okay, they got him out. I would have taken two boat anchors and hooked it under this dude's clavicles and slowly dragged this motherfucker to the hospital. Slowly. I don't want him dead. Slowly. And then we would have been strapping his thighs the entire trip. Because that's what would stop this kind of madness. I mean, and it's not like when you're that fat and disgusting that you don't know it. And it's like, oh, well, I don't know how to lose weight. Give me your phone. That's a phone. That's a cell phone. And today... Everyone has some variance of one of those. If not, you know somebody that does. So if you don't know how to lose weight, you can find out. So if you know that you're a gravy gargling walrus, <laughs> you can figure out how to lose some goddamn weight. Okay, so <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I <laughs> In fact, I have to add this. Um, there was a recent video that went viral of 
a huge uh, pig pus man. Is that, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah. A huge pig pus man who actually was begging for help. He okay. was begging for help. He he was reaching in. It's like Oprah mm-hmm. or, you know, um, uh, uh, I was about to say Rich Little. What's this guy? Um, uh, uh, Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. You know, whoever. He and was begging for help because, of course, he was, he, he his was, health was failing and he was on his way to death. And and, and, and I actually saw a documentary uh, by this, this Australian guy that had weight issues and he found a guy that was a trucker who was 430 pounds and the guy did not know how to lose the weight and he reached out to this man. He reached out and understood that his life and his health was just completely a mess and he took his life by the horns, literally, and can lost, I think, like, by, by the end of this documentary, almost 250 pounds. And it literally brought me to tears. I was like, see, this man respected what he had, the gift of life, and he realized that his quality of life was so bad that he needed to do something about it. And I did not want to strap him. I wanted to congratulate him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, question, uh, question, um, <laughs> I know our audience out there is wondering, what exactly do you mean by he literally grabbed himself by the horns. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got the image of that. You know what I'm talking about. Now, this kind of, I'm sorry, this goes contrary to what you've been saying. He, he, pus doesn't have horns. No. Pigs don't have horns. No. So, how did he literally grab himself by the horns? What, 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 what beast are you referring to at this point? <laughs> Some kind of bog beast. I don't know. <laughs> Something that has horns and a fat neck. <laughs> I don't know. Some... <laughs> but the point is the guy lost the weight. He tried. He took himself. He, he literally motivated himself by whatever means necessary and lost the weight. And I felt really good because you ask yourself this. You could take the, the richest man on earth and tell that man, hey, you have a terminal disease, you have six months to live, there's nothing you can do about it. But then tell this person, well, wait a second, we have this, this one-way transference to where you can get the health of a stinking degenerate subway bum, right? Who is in good health, just dirty and stinking. And, but the only thing is, you will never be able to have this financial security, you will never be a billionaire again, but you will have perfect health. I guarantee you every single billionaire would switch rather than drop dead. You see, so health is all that you honestly have. And all the people out there that have had bad days or your foot is hurting or anything that happens, you know that when you're feeling in a bad state, it messes up everything. So for me to see these dudes, like, you know, we go back to Big Pun. Big, did, did, I, I'm not sure if I remember the story correctly, but did Big Pun die in front of his wife? Did he did he do something? I don't, I don't remember where exactly he died, but I know he recently had came back from a fat farm, lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, lost a bunch of weight. Came back, I guess, you know, really wasn't living right, started mm-hmm. falling into the wrong habits and put on some weight and mm-hmm. that drastic change back and forth, I think, did him in with a heart attack. I don't know exactly I don't remember exactly I, where I he passed. That, I thought I thought he passed, was like stumbling in front of his girl, like like you know, like literally just breaking down and dropped dead in front, or at least went into cardiac arrest in front of his girl. It's possible. And he has a, he had a daughter, right? A little a little daughter. Yeah, see, and, and a and a son. Look, man. You know, funny. folks. Um, we're a new show, and there's certain things you're gonna have to get used to. Um, believe it or not, this has been a public service announcement by Skillet Sauce. He actually yeah. cares about you. I really do. Yeah, he yeah, wouldn't you really be, do care though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he wouldn't want you to be uh, <laughs> dragged by the jaws by two boat anchors. <laughs> If he didn't care, he gives a shit, people. You, you have to appreciate that. And I, I really do. I mean, I, I frequent health food stores all of the time. I, I try and I, I recently helped a, 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 a friend of mine lose 83 pounds in a little bit over two and a half months uh, because he expressed an interest to get healthy. So, you know, uh, his name is Mark, by the way. And yeah, so, yes, I do want to strap you like Pius did Jesus, but... For the betterment of you, okay. Tough the, love, people. Exactly. Well, we're, we're, that's all we are here. We're, we're just tough love. Just tough but, but 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 it's not over because that was just one of the many amorphous pustules. There are a few more. Now this dude, okay, they really didn't discuss exactly how bad he was in it, but he was obviously surrounded by massive amounts of human waste. But what about that other dude that fused to the chair? Yes, yes. This took place about a year or two ago. Mm-hmm. Um, this man didn't have to just be, have to be cut from his house. Mm-hmm. He had to be cut from his chair. 
apparently he hadn't left his chair in something like over a year, mm-hmm. maybe two years. Um, again, the stench was unimaginable. Uh, he was sitting in his own filth, uh, and he had a roommate. He had a roommate. <laughs> So the roommate must not have had a nose or something like what kind of roommate? <laughs> I, I didn't even know that he had a roommate. Yeah, it was a fuck, it was a roommate. He had a roommate. And um yeah, you know, the whole thing the hazmat suits because yeah, they again, they said it was literally too dangerous for regular people to walk into this man's house. So what did his roommate look like the toxic avenger? Uh, <laughs> probably by the time it was over, sure. Um I don't know. I don't know, but I mean humans we adapt. I I, I guess, you know, it, it, like I guess if you know you lived on Mars, you'd be able to deal with the atmosphere up there. I guess this person was able to deal with the atmosphere in his house with the the fumes and the the, the maggots crawling out of this dude's house. He probably looked like Alf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, so they had to what they they had to cut him, but they had to leave the chair portions of the chair in him because didn't his fat form around? Yeah, yeah. The chair? He, he was fusing with the yeah, like when a tree grows over a beam or a pole or something like that. His body was growing into and around the chair. And, of course, I believe they burned that shit. Um, not him, unfortunately. But they, they, they burned the chair. They burned a lot of shit in there because it was horrible. It was horrible. It was disgusting. Um, See, someone had to... The roommate, to me, has to take some of the responsibility. Oh, absolutely. These people are facilitating this kind of, this, this kind of nonsense. Like, because it's like, oh, this, this... Okay. All right. There was this other immobile person... Wow. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get better. Nice, nice one, Dre. Rooted to his bed. And they showed his family. They were frying every, I mean, they were frying sneakers and putting sauce on it, anything <laughs> to feed this dude. All right. So this guy, they were like, oh, but we, you know, he just keeps demanding food. He just keeps, yeah. so they gave him, he has a cell phone. So he would order to the local uh, Chinese, know, restaurant Chinese restaurants or whatever, and they would deliver, but they, they were on like the third or fourth floor. So he figured a way in which he can get his food without av- actually being able to rise up from the bed. He tied a rope around a pail, lowered the pail out the window with his money. They obviously knew him. They would give him his change and put his food in there, and he would hoist it back up. I, I would have lost my job first day. Because I would have found some stinking putrefying roadkill that was jumping with maggots. And I would have put that in that pail with a low yield grenade underneath that shit. <laughs> so when he brought that thing up there, it would have blown that damn roadkill all over his goddamn face. Uh, how can you, can you, you, you can think you, he sits down and thinks of this stuff, but he doesn't. It just came to him right there. How can you say you love somebody? And allow them well, to no, do that okay. so. In all fairness, and I always have to be the fair one here, the reason why he was sneaking the food because they wouldn't give him food, the food that he wanted. But who paid his cell phone bill? What, okay, what was well, he blogging? And, and, and I, 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 how did he get the money for the cell phone? Maybe he was... He maybe, got one of them phones with bubble gum in it, you know, little kid phones. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, if I smell the aroma of that food, I'm kicking down the door with one of them old-fashioned Hulk Hogan weight belts, and I'm whipping this dude's thighs, whipping his back, whipping him. He's going to associate food with searing whip marks. And then... Something will click. I do believe humans will adapt. After I remember a time when I ran across the street. It was the first time I was allowed to go to the store by myself. Little five-year-old skillet sauce. And I went and I got something. I was so happy. I ran back across the street not looking. And we're talking those old-fashioned heavy cars. Not these new crumple zone things. I almost got hit by a car. My cousin, of course, ratted on me to my mom's. And I got the worst whipping I had ever received up to that point. And it scarred me so much that till this day, I look both ways, even if I'm on a one-way street, because of that one savage ass whooping. Savage ass whooping. So why could that not work for these fat bastards? Um, because, um... We don't have to tell anybody. I mean, you tape well, his mouth. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, like he's not going to tell somebody. I he can't like, move. He can't run to the cops. What can he do? I mean, he has to take the ass whoopings. And, he, and when his heart finally gives out from the beating, what are you going to do with him? Blame it on the obesity. And the, the the strap marks. Uh, he was trying to scratch an itch. He couldn't reach around to scratch an itch, so he was strapping himself like he was doing that Catholic shit. And there you have it. It's all figured out. It's all figured out. There's the alibi right there. See, see, I thought, I thought that out. See that? That's that's off the top thinking, right? This there. is why he's here, folks. Exactly. And we will be back <laughs> um, uh, in another two minutes. We have to take another break. Um, yes. 
Oh, wait a second. Tell them the number before we go. Uh, just in case you might not like some of the things that I've said or you might want to chime in on something like this or just ask us questions or whatever. You'll get the number when I get back. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're out of here. Two minutes later. We want to make it, baby.